Hi everyone, this is John again, and I'm out um, kind of having a project day, so you'll notice I'm doing a few things probably if you watch a handful of my videos. Um, today I'm in my boat, the trusty um, She-Ra, as we call her, and I'm going to be replacing um, some of my boat speakers. The uh, waiting for my neighbor to drive off with a real loud truck. So um, my boat is a 1990s, I have a 1997 Illumicraft here, and it came um, when I bought it used a few years ago with a stereo system built in, and um, there are five and a quarter inch speakers that are right here on the side of the uh, boat. Now, a few years ago, I replaced the cassette deck which eight cassettes, and yeah, you heard that right, cassettes. Um, it was both a cassette deck with a, uh, a manual kind of fine tube, fine tune um, radio station piece, not a digital one, and it chowed down cassettes, which yes, I did own a few. I own a few less now. Um, but I replaced the stereo with a modern CD player from Pile, which I'll list in the comments. Um, and unfortunately what that meant was the output of the speaker, the output on the speaker channels is significantly greater. So these old speakers just simply can't handle it anymore and we're going to replace them. Now what we're going to replace them with um, are some direct replacement, holy cow, some, um, what we're going to replace them with, what we're going to replace the, uh, the five and a quarters that came in the boat with are some direct replacement piles. Um, this is model number PLM-R51B, an inexpensive um, set of waterproof marine grade speakers. I think these were like 20 bucks a piece, not a lot for two. Um, in fact, I ordered two boxes of them and uh, was very pleasantly surprised that each box actually contains two speakers. So this is a five and a quarter inch speaker rated for 100 watts. My uh, CD player only pushes 50, so this should be way better. And um, you'll see that this is actually a direct replacement. It's going to fit right into the same spot and it's going to look great when we're done. So let's get to work. For this application, for this application I need my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm simply put just going to um, undo each of the four screws holding this guy in place that have been here and I'm right handed so this is challenging. When I replaced the original CD player, um, the CD player of course has four channels and the boat was only wired for two speakers. So um, I also purchased some waterproof speaker boxes and um, replaced and installed those in the boat. Now the interesting piece is that the, the stereo speakers actually came, uh, the stereo came with four six and a half inch speakers. But these um, boxes are not cut for six and a half inch speakers and I'll show you why. When we pull this out, you'll notice that this is aluminum. This Illuminacraft this Illumina boat is made out of welded or um, riveted um, aluminum all the way around. It is a hefty boat, so I was going to have to cut this, and there's no way I would do a great job cutting this to install the speaker. Now, what makes all this really great is you'll notice there is plenty of speaker line here, thanks to the person who wired it last. I'm going to undo this one and immediately mount it on the same same terminal, undo this, same piece, there we go, I'm just going to drop this in, this is a, a direct replacement fit, it doesn't get any nicer than that people, so all I have to do now is sink my screws back in. And I'm going to hand tighten these the first go arounds. And then get them started with the screwdriver. And before I tighten them all down, I'll make sure I get the other two in there. There we go. This is really, though, about as easy as it gets.
these uh, speakers that I'm taking out, if I'm looking at them and I'm just reading off the back, and uh, you can see that it's a hot day because you can hear my air conditioners, plural, running in the background. They're both running. There we go. The, uh, the speaker that we pulled out, also a waterproof unit, is from Advance. It's a 4 ohm impedance, but you can read through it and you see that it's a 30 watt max speaker. And that means that that 50 watt per channel is going to really make these things sound pretty rough. I'm going to go ahead and install the other one and then we'll test them out. As most people know, but also to keep absolutely still and to move very slowly. Now when I'm doing the uh, unboxing this, by the way, which I didn't show you, Open it up, there's spots for um, two speakers. They each come with um, additional speaker line, just in case. And the speakers are nicely packaged in cardboard to kind of cushion them and protect them. And then each speaker is still additionally wrapped in um, some plastic pieces. So then they come out, um, there's additional mounting hardware in case you need it. And um, so then you can just put these right back in. Hey everyone, so um, you heard some of the audio tests. I tried to pick some audio that didn't have a copyright to it, um, just some talk radio. But we've got brand new waterproof um, marine grade speakers installed. They both sound wonderfully and uh, I just tested them out with some other music and they sound great. So for 15 bucks you can upgrade your speakers in your boat. Um, for about 100 bucks you can upgrade the entire sound system and it's well, um, well worth it. It'll be a lot more fun for me and my family out on the water. Hey, thanks everyone. I hope you have a real wonderful afternoon.